Hi everyone. Thanks for joining my session today. I'm Jojas. I work in DTS and I'm part of, uh, part of a data team as a data engineer. And uh, I really love to implement uh, cutting edge technology in the platform side. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, democratizing data driven decision with the help of self service tool. So uh, let me share my screen. So uh, before we begin, uh, let's go to the mentee and um, play a small quiz to understand on the self-service how many people are actually enthusiastic about it or have uh, heard about it in past. Yeah. And the next will be like, let's uh, let's consider we are uh, we are comparing the let's let's go deep down in the example of uh, application and the platform. Right. So we will relate to uh, one analogy of cooking. So when you are hungry and you are looking for food, the first thing comes in your mind is like, let's go for some restaurant. Right. So in the restaurant, you decide whether you want to go for fine dine or center or any other choice. So in this example, uh, we're going to um, try out uh, like, let's go to the fine dine. Right. Uh, when you go for the fine time, what you get is a menu card with a list of different kind of dishes and you decide, OK, I want to go for this dish and the order gets placed. Uh, the chef uh, decides and prepares the uh, dish and serves you. So in this approach, what happened is uh, you decided the software, which is whether you want to go for the hawker center or you want to go for the fine dine. And then uh, what, uh, what is the main uh, cap capability or a speciality here is your chef, because he will decide how to make your dish and then you get it served. What happened in the cooking studio, right? When you go to the cooking studio, you actually enter in the backstage, like the kitchen area. You see what are different tools available, like what are the different dishes you can prepare, right? And then uh, you can talk to the platform team, which is your chefs, and then your chefs will actually enable you to connect with the cooks to make your dis uh, dish ready. So you can pick the ingredients by your choice and you can ask and innovate something from uh, by having access for the backstage at the cooking studio. So uh, when we compare these two approaches, right, it looks very different. Like here, you actually don't know what is going to happen or what software you're going to pick in the application side. And in the platform side, you actually go and pick the software and then you talk with the platform team and the enablers or the center of excellence and they help you to get your dish what you want. So I'm sure uh, in your organization, uh, you come across this like, okay, now we are talking about self-service, but how it is actually going to implement, right? Who will be the enablers? How you will be doing that? So for that, uh, this analog really, uh, really helps, uh, you know, to compare or differentiate. As we all know that oil is no longer main source for um, the most valuable source, right? But data is. And in data, we uh, identify and communicate these problems, business problems, with the help of data-driven service. And you get faster access and you actually meet your business requirements. And uh, it is a need right now that we have to uh, understand this and bridge the gap and uh, try to adopt as much as possible for the faster uh, implementations. So uh, how we will be implementing this, right? In the in DBS, we are following the 4A uh, framework. It's like ask, acquire, analyze, and act. And how we, uh, let's, let's talk about any business scenario here, right? So you get a business problem, you want to solve that. Uh, you ask, uh, you define the problem. You check whether it is really important or value add. Then you acquire it. You design the solution. You prepare your uh, metadata and you uh, try to build something uh, from the data. You analyze it. You process it uh, to meet your business requirements. And then you act with the help of dashboards or KPIs. You take a decision and you get your outcome. So if you're not meeting your outcome, you can always get a feedback from the management and then again, follow the phase like acquire, analyze, act, and outcome. 
So this process can be repetitive in the agile way because the business is evolving and changing direction every time. And it's important to change the technology accordingly. And what happens in this, when you uh, follow and create one framework, it becomes reusable assets. So other people who are working on that, they can actually make use of your approach and your solutions. So by having a centralized platform, it really helps to uh, connect uh, all this uh, information and uh, collaborate with different teams as well. And you can, you know, you can be more productive, more specific and get your output. And now uh, to implement this uh, framework, right? Let's go deeper in the technical part, like how we will be implementing this framework. So when we, when we talk about this, it's about the data, a data platform, where it will reside and how it will be getting processed. So you know the data is coming from different sources in the company. Different org, uh, different teams are having different sources, databases, systems, and that uh, is in silos with those business teams. So what what we will be building here is the data platform where you will ingest the data with the help of ingestion pipelines, and then once the data is collected in the centralized platform. Uh, you compute it, you uh, process it to the defined business terms, and then uh, with the help of governments, you actually have a visibility for the entire uh, organization data, metadata. So uh, you have your data at the same time, you can broaden your horizon and get understanding about what is happening in the other teams as well, and collaborate and communicate with them. Uh, with the help of uh, data consumption layer, uh, you can, uh, all, all the consumer of the platform could be like your data stewards, data analysts, data scientists, or uh, engineers. How they will be getting this data from the platform is very important here. So we will be uh, building a self-service portal, which is like a platform. Uh, it enables you to connect with the data and uh, to uh, fetch the data according to your needs. And how we will be implementing it with the help of Center of Excellence. Who, who are our chefs platform teams, right? And the education system, which is like your center of excellence who will educate you to use these platforms and how you will be getting trained in our kitchen studio, like, um, you know, knowing the ingredients, what, uh, what you can mix with what and how you get your output, right? So these kind of things, you will get it from the uh, enablers and the center of excellence. And with the help of microservices, uh, it, it is very easy to connect uh, different uh, large data sets with the help of API gateways and you get your data in a very faster way. So people who used to spend a very long time to execute something like a week's time or two weeks time, it has reduced to a day or two maximum. So this is achievable and this is possible with the help of right selection of tools and having the uh, enablement in between. So. Uh, these are like uh, some of the self service tools in the market, uh, which really helps uh, the business to grow and achieve their outcomes. And uh, let's talk about like, what has changed in the democrat uh, democratizing data. Like why we are using this, right? The first and the most important thing is the culture change. Uh, culturally, what we used to do in the application side and now what we are doing in the kitchen studio is totally different aspects. What happens here, because you get full access to the data platform, uh, you are no longer waiting for somebody to respond, to take your requirements, build something for you, and then provide you. What you are doing here is, you, I want something, I get educated with the help of education system and the center of excellence, I communicate and I get what I want and I get trained myself. The plus point here is you are more knowledgeable about data. And second point here is uh, there is no uh, time frame of the development cycle that we used to spend in the application team. The second point here is the working culture in the silos. When we go in the, any organization and we talk with any business team, so they know their team very well. But when it comes to the different department, they don't know where the data is coming from, what are the pipelines, how it is being processed. In the, in the centralized platform, it is more collaborative. We work with each other, we understand each other's needs. And sometimes because of the reusable assets, I have built something, I'm no longer using it, but somebody else can make use of that or we can share this. So you avoid building something um, many times as well. 
and the third would be like a self-service platform. In self-service platform, you actually have, it, it's like a framework where users can connect and see what I want. At the same time, uh, the data team can connect with the business team as well. So this is like a bridge between this. So like one of the business case I would like to discuss with you from the DPS, like recently I came across a uh, fun business unit, right? They had like two uh, departments, like tech side and the operation side. And the tech side holds all the information and the databases and they maintain it uh, and they work on it every day. Whereas the operation team is more towards the business side. And they get all the business requirement and they build all the dashboards, KPIs and the um, uh, decisions for the business. So what happens here when I'm from an operations team, I want some data to build something and I contact the uh, tech team. Tech team is excessively working on their own regular um, database maintenance, other tasks and other uh, architecture side. But when I want something from the operation side, uh, no one really have time to build like an ETL uh, for me, for my business requirement, and there is a dependency. So what I do, I just connect to their data, databases, like with the help of connector REST APIs or um, APIs, right? So they can use that and uh, they get the data. But what happens in that, when I get my data, I need to build my final outcome with the help of having a proper ETL in place which is time consuming. So to avoid that, uh, if you have a centralized data platform, uh, we have that proposal and we implemented this. So the time frame, which, uh, which was there in the same business unit to execute this model, uh, it had reduced to 45 to 50%. And because of the centralized data, uh, users from the operation team can directly hop into that and then they can connect and build their own uh, pipelines and the ETL and it's very much time consuming, uh, uh, sorry, time saving. So in this way, like you can collaborate more, you can get your data at the doorstep and you save time. You also save resources there because you're getting trained for that. So that's like uh, one of the real time scenario that I'm sharing. And the key takeaway from today's session is the cultural change um, by uh, having a self-service trainings and understanding and how you will be executing this. So this is something to keep note of. Uh, yeah, so before we move to the Q&A, uh, this is my contact information. Feel free to connect with me and I'm open for discussing any business ideas about how we will be implementing this in the platform or uh, if you are facing any challenges over there. I'm really open to have uh, any kind of discussions with you guys. Uh, so let's move to the quiz and it's another mentee. Feel free to uh, scan the QR code and uh, there are some fun quiz. And if you have any question about the demo and uh, about um, uh, self-service model, like how we will be implementing and all that, feel free to discuss with me and feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.